In this video, I'm going to show you how to create skin texture from scratch in Photoshop. Custom skin texture will help you bring back some of the skin texture details that you may have lost through retouching or the lighting in the portrait. We will use a non-destructive technique that gives you a whole lot of flexibility to edit your adjustments to achieve a seamless transformation between the original skin and your custom-made skin texture. We're going to start by creating a new blank layer right above the background layer. Then, go into that edit menu and select fill. From the contents dropdown, select 50% gray and press OK. Then, right-click on the layer and select convert to smart object. A smart object will allow you to apply filters non-destructively, which means that you could come back and edit them at any time. Then, go to Filter, Filter Gallery, and open the Texture folder. Select Texturizer, and apply the sandstone texture, which looks a lot like skin. I use Texturizer, because you get the option to choose the direction of the lighting, which gives you a better match with your photo, and it makes the skin texture more realistic. For example, in my image, the light is coming from the top, so, I'll select Top option. Next, edit my skin texture to match the portrait. I'll adjust the scale to 157 and set the relief to 7. Of course, the settings in your image will be different, so adjust them accordingly. Press OK to apply. I will then blend the skin texture layer with the layer below by selecting either the overlay or soft light blending mode. Either of these blending modes works, it depends on your portrait lighting conditions. I'll select soft light since it gives me a more subtle effect. Then, I can hold the Alt key in Windows or the Option key on the Mac and click on the layer mask icon to make a mask that hides the entire layer. I can now select the brush tool, set my foreground color to white, reduce the opacity and flow both to below 30%, and I'll paint in the skin texture wherever I need it. Notice that with a low opacity and flow, I'm slowly building up the texture in the skin, making it more realistic. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click on that subscribe and notification buttons. And I will talk to you again in the next tutorial. Take care.